Okay, YouTube, in this video we're going to solve just a couple of exponential equations, but you'll notice that I've termed these advanced exponential equations. It's not that they're truly advanced, it's just that there might be a little bit more algebraic sleight of hand involved. And so I figured these were good ones to go through for students who are learning how to solve exponential equations. So let's go ahead and take a look on the left over here at problem number A. Uh, you notice I have six times, six times the quantity, uh, two times t, the, you know, two to the power of t plus five. Uh, that plus 4 equals 11. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, when you're solving an exponential equation or an exponential phrase, you want to get that exponential base uh, isolated before you do anything, which means before we do anything, we're going to have to uh, you know, get rid of this 4, we're going to have to get rid of this 6. So algebraically speaking, this is as simple as we would subtract 4 from both sides here. Uh, we end up with 6 times 2 to the t plus 5 power, uh, and this is now equal to 11 minus 4 is 7. Okay, so at this point, we could, uh, we could take uh, uh, both sides and divide by 6. So divide by 6, divide by 6, and so we have this. 2 to the power of t plus 5 is equal to 7 over 6. So now that we've got this exponential thing isolated, what we can do is we can undo it using its inverse, which the inverse of an exponential thing is a logarithmic thing. So we'll take the log base two of everything on the left. And the reason why we're choosing a base of two is because log base two of two to the power of something, that, that exponential two to the power of something and that log base two are going to cancel each other out. We have to do the same thing to the right. So now we have log base two of seven sixths. So now this log cancels out with this exponential thing and we say well then we have t plus five equals log base two of seven sixths. Okay, so one more step in order to isolate our t here is to subtract 5 from both sides. And we end up with t equal to, uh, I'm going to call it negative 5 plus log base 2 of 7 divided by 6. So now uh, we can let a calculator do the rest of the work for us. I think the, the probably the most uh, tedious part of this problem is the fact that we have to use change of base on this log base 2 because our calculator doesn't have a log base 2 button. So change of base formula, recall, is this. We say log base a of x is the same thing as like log of or ln. We could use any log base we want. We say ln of the large thing here, log, ln of x over ln of our base a. So we can now rewrite this as the same thing as uh, negative 5 plus ln of 7 sixths over ln of 2, which was our base on our log, and 7, 6 was our large thing here. So we can use a calculator for the rest of this. Uh, let's go ahead and start with that ln of 7, 6 divided by ln of 2. So we say uh, ln of 7 divided by 6, end parenthesis, and we're going to divide this by ln of 2. Okay, so we get this, and then we're going to add this, so plus negative 5, plus negative 5. We get negative 4.777-ish, so this is approximately negative 4.777-ish, okay, ish. And this can easily be checked by plugging it back up into the original expression. For the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the second example. One thing to know is this, if you're, if you're like still learning how to do these, this is of a quadratic form, okay. If you haven't noticed, it's, it's kind of looking quadratic like a trinomial. Uh, the sleight of hand comes in when we rewrite this expression uh, using properties of exponents. So we say this first expression here would be like e to the x technically squared because if we take a power to a power you would multiply the exponents and 2 times x gives us this 2x back. So we say e to the x squared minus, oops, minus 7e to the x plus 12 equals 0. Now since this is of an exponential form we can say something squared minus some, so many of something to the, you know, whatever, plus a constant equals zero. If we could rewrite this as the product of two binomials. So in this case, we get uh, two things that multiply out to be 12 or produce 12 that add up to be negative 4 are going to be um, uh, negative 3 and negative 4. And then in both instances, we can write e to the x. And this is easily checked by foiling it back out. But we say, okay, so since we have these two quantities now, we can say e to the x minus 3 equals 0, or, and or, really, e to the x minus 4 equals 0. So now solving these exponential expressions, we have to isolate these exponential phrases. So we say, well, if I kick this 
3 over to the other side, or I kick this 4 over to the other side, each equation becomes e to the x equal to positive 3 and e to the x equals positive 4 respectively. And now to undo this exponential thing, we'll use a log, and we'll use the log with the same base. So log base e of e to the x is the same thing as log base e, or ln of 3. In this case over here on the right, we'd say ln of e to the x <coughs> excuse me, is the same thing as ln of 4. So now on the left, <coughs> excuse me, ln of e to the x, those cancel, and we're left with just x on the left equal to ln of 3. And on the right here, we say ln and this e to the x. Uh, they have the same bases there, and they're inverses, so we have x equals ln of 4. We'll go ahead and check these on a calculator. So we say ln of 3, ln of 3 equals, and uh, ln of 4 equals. So we get about 1.09 or 1.10 and 1.39 ish. So 1.10, we get approximately 1. 0.10 and 1.39 ish respectively. So a couple of quick examples on how to solve some more uh, complex exponential equations.